Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Hello, it's me again. Oh, yeah, of course I got Travis with me. Um, we're actually, you won't believe it, Windsor. Um, after driving through the beautiful, ancient part of Windsor, we ended up parking in this dystopian, Orwellian, ugly brick car park, which I couldn't get out of when I opened the door. Oh, we parked where we can bloody find. Yeah, exactly. Um, but now we're here. We're in the really modern, as you can see, shopping centre part. Nice, yeah, that's Windsor Royal Shopping. Not that we want to do the shopping. We want to go and see station. old old Windsor. Actually, I've got a point about that. Windsor only was known as actual Windsor in 1973. Before it? that, it was New Windsor. Was it? Yeah, Old Windsor was old one, three then. miles south or something. Um, but now it's just Windsor. But anyway, should we get to it? Well, you learn something new every day, don't you? All you right, do. Every day is a lesson, Travis. <laughs> So this used to be the old station, you can obviously tell, can't you? But now it's just filled with shops and restaurants. And oh, look, there's an old uh, train over there, should we go see? I wonder why they stopped using this one then. Maybe I don't know. it's just know. easier with the new rail line. Yeah, well it's like any modernisation, isn't it? But they've got kind of like a shore ditchy feel down there, but uh, Oh, yeah. it smells bloody lovely in here. Look at that old train. I know, look at this lovely train. Oh, how pretty. Yeah, old bar one. We've been in there a few times, not that one, obviously, but... There you go. Fancy going to Hogwarts? Yeah, <laughs> All aboard to Windsor and Eaton Central with Travis. Railway lines. <laughs> and now it's history time with Travis. What did you learn? Um, that it was built in 1897. I'm totally not reading that. <laughs> well, what we have learned is Travis can still read. <laughs> I found an artwork of Travis. Hey. Okay. I'm living and up in the Hotel California. Oh, I like that song. It's a good one. It's cracking, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, doggos. How cute. Okay, everyone. So we're now approaching arguably the poshest five guys in the Western Hemisphere. Well, it's always the same on the inside. And that's what counts, Travis. What's on the inside? The five guys. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Did you know it's a dog's life? I bet they did them pictures on uh, AI. Oh, it? yeah, definitely. It's like the sort of thing I would do, isn't it? Yeah. They look painted, they might. They do look good, though. And just like Starbucks, you cannot escape the Ivy. There's one on every corner in every posh place in the UK. What do you think of the Ivy, Travis? Well, I haven't been, so I can't comment, but it looks nice. <laughs> Here we go. Here's the castle. Oh, well, the walls, anyway. Oh, I'll get my head out the way. Why? <laughs> yeah, this is the traffic we're stuck in. But also, they do... Was it duck tours? Oh, yeah. What was it? When it goes down on the river? Yeah, it's like an um, amphibious, it's amphibious, like, vehicle, which goes on the river, but also comes on land. Oh, everyone knows the duck boat. There you go. Yeah. The Ivy. The entrance to the most overpopulated restaurant in the UK. <laughs> and the heart and garter. That sounds cute, doesn't it? Busy Sunday. Busy Sunday in Windsor. And here you go. If you don't know who it is, our third most popular queen in history, Queen Victoria. Well, I mean, if your husband died that early on, he would be as well, wouldn't you? Thanks. Here you go. Standard life of PJ foot shot. Panning up this beautiful path to the entrance. We ain't paying for them prices to go in a bloody rip off. Yeah, I know. It's 30 quid on the day, 28 pounds in advance. But St. George's Chapel is closed today for services. So you don't even get all the castle. Mm. So I can eyeball it from here for free. You see the flag up there? Is that the That's a really nice. It's a really nice pub, isn't it? The horse and groom. Oh, if you go down there, you get to see uh, the crooked house. Which one? I believe it's down there. Go down. All right, do you want to have a nose? It's either that one or this one. Well, let's eyeball from here. The crooked house. You can see the flag at the top. Oh, we've got plenty of police presence here. Oh, wait, the flag. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's in residence. Oh, yeah, I think the king's in residence. 
Because the old King Cole was a merry old soul, the merry old soul was he. Did you know that, Travis? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, look at those bunting. Who are they? That's what they're about, aren't they? That's cute. Should we go? Should we go venture? Adventure? Yeah, go on in. Venture, adventure, as the uh, cadets would say. Ooh, ice cream. <laughs> Water skews. History lesson, now testing my history knowledge. Nell Gwynn, she was the favourite concubine, mistress, whatever you want to call it, of Charles II. Oh, was she? We, I can't remember Charles II. Charles II was the one that came back and overthrew Cromwell's son after the revolution because they chopped his father's head off. And supposedly he created, um, I think, nice big plush rooms in Windsor Castle for her. They, Nell they Gwyn. Something new every day, don't yeah, they? it is, yeah. And Nell, of course, you're going to be watching this, but that's for you. <laughs> uh, next to Nell Gwyn's little shop is Church Street Gardens, which actually it's mentioned in the Merry Wives of Windsor because in all the accounts of Windsor back in the 16th and 17th century, it was actually a bit of a shithole. <laughs> but this is cute, isn't it? Wait, a YouTuber filming something? No, I know, but I don't realise. Oh. <laughs> Modern Chinese cuisine. I suppose if you were born in 1423, it would be. My wallet is screaming at the price. Honestly, you could get like three times the size of that. We could actually buy half of Lincoln. Yeah. Sort of and build a whole new She's development. Just the month. She's just wasting your money. <laughs> it's the prestige, Travis. Uh, the winds of prestige. Yeah. <laughs> <It's very sad. laughs> you can get you can get your car down here anytime you want. I'm, I ain't paying these prices. Okay, how's my artistic angles here? Woo. <laughs> the Last Supper. Oh, it's actually here. I thought it was in St George's Chapel. There's a man standing right in the middle of the park. Oh, excuse me. I love these defenders. These are absolutely class. I love them. They don't do them anymore. Do they not? No. Out, out of commission. I'm sure there's plenty out there that you can buy. So. Oh, and yeah, thank you. Always love a good uh, memorial to those that lost their lives in the Second World War. That's the First World War. Wars of carnage, wars of evil, and only satisfy little dicked pricks. That's for both the wars, isn't it? Because it's got 1914. It is, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, First World War as well. And they must be able to, uh, First World I wonder War. if there are any. Shermans, any Shermans? No. no. But that was a Welsh name. Well, thank you, everyone. Well, well, well. <laughs> Go on, Travis. What are you going to wish for? I'm throwing 50p down there. <laughs> I'm sorry to anyone with OCD, but that is a really scary bag. Look at it. Put all the fags in. <laughs> I haven't thrown anything because I can't find anything over a quid, under a quid, so... <laughs> they look like in telephone boxes. Yeah, yeah, this is what they used to look like. I love that people have got really creative and decorated with it with uh, King Charles memorabilia for the coronation. Hey, we've been there, done that now. Or was when, when some of our American cousins say coronated. Oh, these are, uh, as Charlie Veach loves to call them, barriers of peace. All the way up. It's a nice we'll little uh, pedestrianised area. All the way down there, up to the castle. No cars. Listen to it. There's a car there. Apart from my annoying voice, it's quite quiet, isn't it? Mm. Are there any pugs? There we are. Okay, and here we are on the main drag, as Charlie would say, on look Peace at, God Street. Look at all the ants down there. <laughs> what is it? They're a uh, flock of ants, flock you of say, ants. yeah? Yeah, well, I couldn't find a word, but it's a <laughs> hive of ants. It, it's a neurologism, it's a you. No. Neologism. Oh, look at that bear. Bloody hell. I've seen one like that before. It? It That's huge. <laughs> <laughs> huh? like look at the size of it. Yeah, it's like a giant mystic. <laughs> 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 Mr. Sims has had a rebrand. Never seen it like that before. Hey? Never seen Mr. Sims like that before. No. It's usually quite old school. Modernised. Yeah. Bit weird. Looks like Watford. See, even in wealthy Windsor, the effects of Covid still are felt. Yeah, they'll find something new to open in a while. Yeah, we'll stick. Travis hairdressers, Travis beauty salon. <laughs> 
They need more independent businesses down here, but yeah. I suppose none of them can afford it. Yeah, a bit like in the arcades in Cardiff and other places, you've got these boutique it's in Manchester as well, aren't there? There are some boutique oh, arcades yeah. with some independent shops, which are the lifeblood of the UK. So we'll see, we'll see. The future of retail is changing. <laughs> it's just another manic Monday. Oh wait, no, wrong song, wrong song. That sign is so walkably close to the <laughs> It is, isn't it, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit too close. We had to stay, and I have to talk over it because copyright. I love it, it's just so Scottish, brilliant. Look at the tartan. There you go. Obviously, it's the menu. Have a little nose. I think Travis is going to go for the uh, burger, aren't you? As you. When the fork dominates the knife, look at the size of it. <laughs> Travis defied all expectations and went for the. Pie. Pie, pie and beans and chips, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. They went crazy on the beans and <laughs> Well, you know what they say, the more you eat, the more you... <laughs> this, ladies and gentlemen, is the death of the beer garden. Someone help me find my knife. Literally, I've got too much crap in my bag, so it's like, ooh, where is it? Yeah, we saw earlier. Also, yeah, we're getting attacked by wasps and young, the other morning, yeah, I woke up yeah, and I heard buzzing in my face, yeah, and because I thought it was mosquito in my sleep, I slapped it and I got stung on the face, we can't see it now, it's got makeup and it's gone down. But no, just a big lump, just a big lump on his neck. Oh wait, that's your head. Anyways, ah. you guys want to see more winter, so we can yeah. go back out now. We'll do that in a second, but first, look, I got my new wallet yesterday. It's really nice. Tummy. <laughs> so, sun's come out after that. Little interlude of rain, little April shower, little August shower. Oh no, I swear like the bumps are like backwards. Around. Now we're here at this uh, what, 14th, 15th century, actual, original, definitely. It's not the mock Tudor ones that you usually get. It's lovely. I reckon it's even older than that. But it's now an Oxfam in Royal Britannia. It looks like it should be a pub though, doesn't it? Oh, it does, yeah. But we've got House of Windsor, which is a local shop at an Oxfam. Oh well, right, should we go down to the, uh, the river? I'm going to block out the cigarette because I don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> oh, we're living in a ghost town. So this is where Travis and I drove down earlier. Hell of a lot of traffic on the road. Almost as much on the pavement, weren't there, Travis? <laughs> uh, it's actually a nightmare going down here. Well, I know. So let's get a nice shot here of all the people walking. Uh, that guy's free fudge, yeah! <laughs> In this economy, I'm bonkers! How good is your fudge? It's pretty darn good! <laughs> <laughs> Just like, Have a you too! <laughs> Now we're at the more traditional side of Windsor. We Casa del Gelato. It is, yeah. <laughs> we're back in Skeggy with Travis and his marching band. And the award for the world's largest ice cone goes to Wei. Oh, absolutely. They're horrible things, one. Honestly, I've been bitten by one as a kid. How dare you? They're protected by royal charter. That's just aggressive kissing. Yeah, so they can have them. That's aggressive kissing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can tell the alpha. Yeah. Here's the alpha. Bray Royale. Hmm. 
islands in the stream that is what you are no one in between except all of these ducks and Travis walking down the lake <laughs> or river we want to get on with our day to stop filming every two seconds and let's walk uh-huh <laughs> Okay, so just coming off of the um, river, Travis and I have just heard a band striking up on a on a band stand. It's amazing. So hopefully we catch it. What are you going to say? I'll just say so we've got to have a look, look over and see what's going on. Yeah, hopefully they start back up. So if you see a band playing in the next shot, they did. If you don't, they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Sky fall in the background from that band. Oh, that band's lovely. Yeah. They need more cloud. Travis wants some of the classics, don't you? Yeah, they need some like, actual good songs on This one's alright. Yeah, ruin it with an assembly point. <laughs> Down the avenue of broken dreams. Travis wants to fulfil like his sugar here. tooth and get a creams. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Umbrella's out, Travis pout. <laughs> he just wants to dance, scream and shout. <laughs> Why am I doing this poetry crap? <laughs> and here in the wild, we see the lesser spotted 60 plus year old human playing the most exhilarating sport they can to ensure their heart doesn't pack out. <laughs> Actually, it's quite fun. Yeah, I like man. balls. <laughs> okay guys, well, that was our whistle stop tour of windy winter but there's no wind it's more rain um a little tip top top little august showers kind of finishing the uh finishing the video off so thanks for joining us on this one yeah thank you guys and i uh, don't know what the next oh, one's gonna be wasps. and uh don't know what the next oh, one's gonna be <laughs> flew in my face honestly like they keep attacking me i don't know what it is you're just a wasp magnet i am you're a white anglo-saxon protestant mm. magnet <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Um, but yeah, we'll see you on the next video. Bye Thanks guys. very much. Thank you.